We've been living in a massive, unregulated social experiment for about the past 10 years especially. It started in the 1970s with email, but it's really accelerated in the last 10 years with the mobile phone. And we've all embraced it, and it's time now to stop for a minute and say, how well is this working? One thing I really enjoyed about uh, Nick's presentation was the fact that he went back to first principles, as it were, the fundamentals of human communication and how we pick up signals from other people, how we respond in kind, and what happens to us when we do not have that kind of stimulation in the virtual world. I kept getting asked by people to whom I was talking about body language. Well, I don't spend a lot of time face to face with people anymore. I'm dealing with them mainly virtually. And so how does that work in the virtual world? If you say uh, communicating via body language is so important, what happens to that when you can't see that person face to face? So it was really answering that question that inspired me. How many of you spend a good portion of your day on some form of audio conferencing with people that you rarely see face to face? Yeah, virtually everybody. We're hardwired to get most of our information about other people's intent through our five senses. It's going to take eons to change that behavior. That's something we've evolved over hundreds of thousands of years to be. And so a few years of technological behavior haven't made us any different, they've, uh, any better. They've handling it. They've made us more anxious. It's made our lives much more stressful, much more anxiety-ridden, and much less successful in many ways. Uh, that said, the good news is there are a number of simple things we can do to make it better. I would really establish that trust and connection, like the human connection instead of virtual. And I think that's what sets the difference in terms of building business relationships. It was very fascinating to know that this is all now normal human behavior. Uh, and this then means that you know, I have to be a bit more tolerant when I'm, when I'm using this uh, communication with them. It was, a, it was a very fascinating discussion in that sense. I intended this book for business people who have to live constantly and do good work, try to do good work in the virtual world, in the half virtual, half real world. Uh, but you could use it just for your ordinary life as well, communicating with your kids, communicating with your friends, understanding how the virtual world works a little bit better.